Welcome, welcome back. This is Yama Jack, and uh, we're here today with uh, Ashwood Asylum on Hell on Earth as the Gunslinger. We're going to be having some good fun today. Shooting Zeds in the face and continuing on with our day as, uh, as if nothing ever happened. I love these skins. Honestly, these skins are growing on me. The Slasher skin, I like the clock, not so much. I don't like the pigs. Um, these guys are also kind of growing on me. I like these guys, actually. You know, get rid of the stupid knife in their face. Or at least make it not block shots. And uh, you got you got a win from me. Those those are those aren't bad. This guy I hate. Hate that. But this I love. I, I wish the slasher skin was more like that permanently. You know, change the change the thing, make it less pirate, right? Make it less piratey. Because he's all he's all piratey now, right? He's a he's a what, what's the what's the term for uh it's like the private, but for uh, for pirates. They got like their own ranking systems, right? Something like that. I don't even know, man. He's he's a he's a crew member of some sort, though, right? But get rid of that that crew membery look to it, and uh, you got yourself a good little skin. He's got all those slashery hooks and stuff. I think it looks fantastic. The pig. I'm extremely not into though. Uh, the bloat, honestly, the bloat feels okay. This guy I hate, but I like that he's separate from the the normal clots instead of just being a fast clot. The bloat's not too bad, but um, really, it's the uh, the gore fiends and the gore fasts that I like. Although I wish we got that div that uh, that color back between them because the gore fiends and the gore fasts normally have a larger difference of, of color between the uh, the two, and um, I, I like that because honestly, even though like you, yeah, okay, you see you see that one of them has two swords. That's a pretty obvious way to tell them apart. But for me, I mean, it doesn't work that way. I'm sorry, but it it, it, does, it doesn't work that way. So uh, anyway. Um, I do like their skins. I just wish there was still more, more, more to tell them apart at a glance. It's like over there, I see a bunch of gores, but like which one's a gore fiend, which one's a gore fast, right? Can't tell at a glance. Whereas with the normal skins, I mean, I can't even remember at this point really, but I can tell it apart a lot easier because I feel like they have more of a, a color differentiation, right? They're, diff they're different, uh, differently colored. We need this racial segregation. This is probably not a good time for a. Uh, for a, 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 an, uh, a satirical racial segregation joke. Probably not Probably not the right time for that, right? <laughs> it's probably a bad time. Look, I just want them to be different colored, okay? They should be red and then like, I think it's red and brown or red and redder or something. I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, please. Look, I, 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 well, I deserve this for my joke, but I just don't want it, okay? I don't want it. It's what I deserve. I got what I deserved. I got what I deserved. Getting stuck on some barrels. Gonna play some more Ashwood Asylum, because I don't really want to work on anything else. I'd have to, like, figure out what map I'm gonna put on. It's a whole complicated thing. We're just gonna run with it. We're gonna pretend that whole thing never happened. You know, you get a little loading time up there, eh? Six seconds. Not bad. Not bad. Six seconds feels like it was definitely longer than the time I actually spent loading, though. Feels like I didn't spend six seconds loading. I, I feel like I spent, like, three seconds. But the moral of the story is just give me my old skins back, but keep the keep the slasher and, and make him less piratey themed. I like him. I like him a lot. Like, look at this. Don't he look great? Looks great. I love all the metal. I mean, he's slasher and he's, he's all slashery, you know? It's great. We gotta, we gotta conserve some ammunition. Oh my god, I can't even bash. Thanks for redeeming myself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Slashing, the slashers are harder to, to 
bash the face in of because they jump around. I tried to get the the like bash cancel, you know? The most useless skill in the world. Aw, oh, that's stupid. Recoil. The the stalkers are also kinda hard to bash the face in of, but if you get used to it and you you're good at the ping that you've got, you can you can do it pretty reliably. Thankfully the for the slashers at least, it's um if you miss them you don't have to shoot them in the face. You know, you can do a, a sh Okay. Don't really have an opportunity to showcase this right now, but um Okay, so uh, miss him, right? Oh no, I missed him. I don't have to shoot him in the face. I can shoot him anywhere I want and he'll die. So it almost does enough damage to kill him, but not quite. You know, just barely, barely shy of lethal. Barely shy. What do we got? We got one of these dudes. And a bloat. We cannot kill the bloat with this. I have no idea how to get to the trader. I don't know where it is, man. I was hoping I'd be going a uh, right way-ish, but it's it's way the heck over here, eh? I'm dumb. So I was going completely the wrong way. How did I even think it was over there? Man. I'm special. I'm something else, eh? It's hard to think up stories, you know? I mean, in the first place, I don't even remember that much. Yeah, I actually remember a lot. I always say that I don't remember much before, like, my my early 20s. But then I, I, I talk to other people, and I, I feel... I, I, I realize what they remember. I'm like, you know... <laughs> for me, what I remember pre-20 is... Not that great... Um, you know, memory-wise. Like, I don't... It's not very vivid. It's not... Um... It's it's pretty pretty blanked, you know, relative to my my more short term memory, right? But then I hear what other people are are talking about their memories, and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I've got a really good memory actually. But it's hard for me to to come up with these stories and then tell them on the spot, you know. I remember this one time I was in uh, second grade, I want to say, and. I forgot how to use a stapler. Like we just came back from summer vacation or, or winter vacation or, or something, um, and I had forgotten how to use a stapler. So I put the paper in the stapler, and then I held the paper and stapled like my finger. You know, like I, I thought that that was how I had to staple. I had to make sure that the paper was there. And like I, I don't, looking back, I I don't know how I could have possibly thought that was the right way to do it. Just looking at a stapler, like you can clearly tell that that is not the right way to do it but in my brain at that time that was how a stapler works you know like that was how I realized that was how I learned that like that was that was how that was how staplers work my brain said that's how a stapler works okay you're using a stapler you're doing that all right so I had like held the paper and just stapled it through the paper into my thumb or my like four thing my uh, my index finger I think um yeah I just, just completely stapled it and I'm like, oh right. Like it was immediately after I stapled it. I'm like, why did I even decide? Like that's not how you. That's not how a stapler works. What are you doing, me? I'm like, you know, seven at the time or something. And I'm like, why would I have ever thought that that's how you use a stapler? Like even immediately after it happened, I was still like, how could anybody be that dumb? I think I've done it twice actually. <laughs> so. <laughs> You, you'd think after the first time, I'd learn that uh, maybe I should study how staplers work. Become intimately familiar with them, as it were. I did not. And then I, I've done it twice. I've stapled myself twice. I've also... I stabbed myself with a pencil once. Like, I, it wasn't an accident. I mean, I guess kind of was an accident, but not really. Um, it was just, I was holding the pencil and I was like, I need to write. 
and writing happens by stabbing myself in that little like section between my thumb and my forefinger, that little like flappy section. So I stabbed myself. It hurt. I bled. And some lead got like lodged in me and it might still be there, I don't know. But it was definitely there for a while. I could like see it in my hand for, for quite some time. And uh, that was another moment where I was like, why did I ever think that that's how this worked? That's obviously not how you do this. Like, just, just, it doesn't take a genius to, to know that you don't write by stabbing yourself in the hand. I could probably, if I thought about it, I could probably come up with even more stories that like this, along this similar vein, you know, like, me being just dumb one day and just completely forgetting how to do something and then doing it the in the in the most dumb way possible that's just obvious it's not even like I'm trying to self-harm right like I'm not that's a whole different thing I don't I don't do that it's just genuine dumb from me at times you know there's no there's no self-harm motivations behind it. it's not me trying to, to punish myself I'm just genuinely lapsing on how to do the thing and I genuinely think that that's how you do it. And then I do it, and I'm like, ow, that hurt. Why did I think that's how you do it? I haven't stabbed myself again, though. Well, no. Not not for the similar reason, you know? I have stabbed myself. Many times. With, uh, with pencils and pens and, and whatnot, you know? I feel like that's pretty common, though, right? To stab yourself with a pencil or a pen. Maybe not for the reason that I did, you know, like you don't forget how to write and then stab yourself because you think that's how you write. I mean, again, I was like eight years old or something at this point, so I forgive me to, to a certain extent. But um, I just um, I think that's not why most people are stabbing themselves. But these days, most of the stabbing I do is I'm just fiddling with it and I accidentally like jam it into my thigh or something. I'm like, ow! I shouldn't be fiddling with this, you know. Uh, we're gonna go for the M1911s because I quite like them. Can't get it upgraded, but it's okay. So I have stabbed this, but I've never, I've never like just taken a pencil and just like gunk, stabbed myself, you know. Never since, never since that day. I have, I have stapled myself multiple times. I feel like that's a common thing though too, right? Stapling yourself. I don't like this area at all. I do not like this area at all. We're not. We're not, I'm not even gonna try. I feel like that's common though, right? Stapling yourself. It's gotta be common. Yeah, anybody who works in an office has probably stapled themselves before, right? Oh, that headshot was good. Oh, you're a gore fiend, I guess. Two shots for you. And I was I was a special kid in school, both both literally and and figuratively. You know, I was I was literally a special needs kid, and then I was also, I mean, I was special. You over here? I hear you. I hear you. I guess we'll get some protection here. We'll, we'll do some of it, but I mean, I'm not. I'm not completing this. I'm not stopping here any longer than I have to. I ain't comfortable with this. I ain't doing it. No sir. So, uh, yeah. Like I, if I thought about it, I could probably come up with just a ton of stories about me being. Just dumb. Lapsing and then doing something completely the wrong way. And I usually realize like immediately afterwards too, right? Like I usually, it doesn't take me long to, to realize that I've done it the wrong way. Because you're obviously wrong if you're stabbing yourself. Right? Like it doesn't take a degree to understand that stabbing yourself is probably not the way to do pretty much anything outside of stab yourself, you know? Unless your goal is to stab yourself, you're doing it wrong. It applies to pretty much everything, so. 
Oh, I hear uh, I hear a, I hear a pound of some sort. Quarter pound. Is that an enraged scrape? Yes, you are. You, be dead. you do be dead. Oof. 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 Make sure all these are destroyed. Can't have any technology. I'm Richard Stallman. I'm not Richard Stallman. I'm not even Richard. Alright, let's take you out. I hear something coming up from back here, too. Something I don't like. Bloat. You should not be able to shoot through the door. That is unfair. Utterly unfair. I disagree with this. I think it's really dumb that... Why can you shoot through a door, but you can't walk through it? Like, just answer me this. You know, riddle, riddle me this. Why are doors impenetrable by bodies, but not by bullets? And oftentimes, specifically only penetrable by their bullets and not my bullets. It's real frustrating, you know? Don't really like it, you know? Alright, let's get the, uh, the Hans fight. We haven't had a Hans tonight. Really? Are we gonna go a full week without Hans? I got one more episode left after this. Are we gonna go a full week without a Hans fight? Also, where was he? I wasn't paying attention. I hear him, but I can't pinpoint him. Where are you, buddy? I hear the poops. He's coming from here? He's coming from here? Yeah, he is. Look at that excellent hearing. Look at that spatial awareness right there. Oh boy. Excellent play by me. Alright, we're not using the blocks. We're actually going to be able to... We have, to... we have to get for that. I was thinking I'd just knock out his uh, armor right now and then pop to the glocks and just kind of pummel him. But uh, we don't have the glocks, so I'd really rather be accurate. I mean, I'd rather be accurate all the time, but with the glocks, you kind of just can't really do that too well, right? This is not a very good weapon for taking this guy down, though. It's pretty good for taking out these trash, though. You know? It doesn't do a, a whole lot of DPS, though. It does, it does some good damage per hit, but... The DPH is there, but the DPS is, uh... I mean, it's just it's a little bit lackluster, to say the least, you know? Really, it's the deagles that I want. I'd rather just hoover up some ammo <laughs> at this point. Then like try and take him out with some what tier three M nineteen elevens. I just go hoover up some ammo. I mean, you gotta you gotta handle the the poops of course, but as long as nothing comes up from behind me, I'm pretty much happy. I'll I'll handle all the poops that come at me. Okay, bring the poops on. I will destroy them. Haha. <laughs> I thought that was me dying for a moment and I was real sad and then I realized it wasn't me dying, it was him dying. Oh. You gotta break all this. Break them all. Break them all. Look at all the poops. Look at all the poops. Huh, I don't really like the abomination, but I want a Hans. Give me a Hans. Next episode, give me a Hans, or don't give me a Hans. That could also be cool. A whole week without Hans? I like Hans, but I mean, that's just, I mean, what are the chances, you know? There's all the XP, there's all the player stats. Look at it all. Wow. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.